got a high score in a footy game? Because I, like you, love playing football games. And today, we're here to check out a brand new one called Lords of Football. So why don't you check out the trailer? I'm going to chat to a football legend who's behind the whole thing. Want your football team to bring their A game to every match? Build the perfect routines. Request their attendance. Polish their skills. Reach perfection. Their lives, your choices. Lords of Football. And here he is, football legend Gianluca Viali. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome to Kickback TV. Thank you very much. Uh, we're nice here for the Lords of Football. Why, um, can you tell us about the game and what makes it different for, from the others? Well, I think it's a unique game. It's a unique genre because there's nothing like that um, on the market. And um, I like to say it's like um, the Sims meet Football Manager. Um, so you get a bit of both. Um, you can finally um, see uh, in a 3D, very realistic virtual world what your players are doing. And you need to manage them, you need to coach them. You need to make sure that they are well trained, uh, tactically very well prepared, but the fun aspect is that at night they go out and they do, you know, what players do. What, what yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you need to make sure that they do it uh, in the right manner without getting addicted to any of the vices and uh, without falling into, you know, temptations too often. Uh, because um, ultimately, you know, they've got their own stats in the game. So the better you train them and the better you manage uh, uh, off the pitch activities, the better they respond and the better they play and therefore you're likely to win the games and, uh, and win the ultimate prize which is the European Cup and, uh, and um, it's light-hearted, it's fun, it's kind of addicted, uh, addictive as well and uh, it's as close as possible to the real thing in my opinion. The real thing is slightly more complicated and less fun <laughs> and less stressful but uh, more stressful I should say but it's, uh, it's very realistic. Are you a gamer yourself? Is it something that you got into before this and, yeah, and wanted well, to explore? Yes, I have um, been playing games in my youth uh, especially. Um, I played football managers likes and uh, the sinks and I was very addicted to uh, the Tiger Woods um, Golf, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Were you any good? Yeah, I was quite good. <laughs> I, was, I remember that was before I got married and had children, and I wasn't working, uh, so I had time. And I remember sometimes staying up until seven o'clock in the morning playing, uh, you know, golf um, on the PlayStation, and then realised it was almost <laughs> time to Top go. Of <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I am. Uh, I enjoy playing games, and I. I thoroughly enjoy being involved in this industry for the last four years and it's been a, re a revelation for me and uh, it's been so much fun. Mm. You said the game's like real life, what to that, who would you say today on a football pitch is, is the lord of football, what kind of players do you, do you like watching? Uh, well I think lot, lots of football are more like the managers, the, the coaches, mm. I think uh, the likes of uh, Mourinho for example, Sir Alex, uh, um, I mean we've got great Italian managers in Marcello Lippi, Fabio Capello was managing, was been managing England as well, Antonio Conte now, he used to be a teammate of mine at Juventus and he's exceptionally good, so yeah, these guys, Pep Guardiola of course, Roberto Mancini, these guys seem to be in control of the players uh, and they make them think the right way, they sort of uh, make them play for the team, for the club and they bring the best out of them, which is what being a lot of football is all about. And two more managers that are two former teammates of yours as well, Gianfranco Zaylo and Gus Poirier, yes. do very well in the championship. What do you make of them? I, um, well, if I might say something about Chelsea first, I think that Chelsea are obviously looking for a new manager for next season. And I think the Italians have always done particularly mm. well at Chelsea. We've had four managers, including myself, and I think we've been reasonably successful. <laughs> the last one, Robbie Matteo, actually, ended up winning the Champions League. So I wouldn't mind seeing an Italian manager at the club again. Obviously, Jose Mourinho is always top of the list. Yes. Um, but if it wasn't him, I would say an Italian. And why not Gianfranco Zola or mm. Gaspar? Yeah, he's you know, not Italian, but he speaks Italian very well. Mm. Because I think that they are talented, they are fond of the club, they know the fans, they know you know, the, the, the place inside out and um, they've got this sense of belonging, you know, they, they, I'm sure that they're going to do a great job 
not just because they're professional managers, but also because they care about Chelsea. Mm -hmm. So that could be an interesting um, signing. And you're pleased to see that he's doing it at Watford, well, a club that you're one of your former clubs. It would be nice to see him do to get them in the Premier League. Yes, I have been working at Watford for about a year. Um, not the greatest of memories uh, because of what happened there, but um, you know, a good club. Um, with a great fans based um, and uh, yeah I'm pleased now there's very much an Italian flavour at Watford because they are owned by an Italian um, family and uh, they do things pretty much the Italian way they've got some great um, talented players coming from abroad mainly and uh, they've got an Italian um, setup basically and Gianfranco is doing an exceptionally good job because they're not just winning but they're playing good football exciting football they're scoring goals so yeah, I think Gianfranco is doing um, the job very well. Uh, I'm looking back on your own. What I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, looking back on your own playing career, which was obviously phenomenal. Um, the, the guys there, who were the best guys you played with or played against? Well, I was very lucky because uh, you know, we're talking about still. It was black and white TV, <laughs> but um, and the hair. There was a bit more hair on top. Yeah, clearly <laughs> Afro style. <laughs> uh, bit of Fellaini. <laughs> uh, well, I, I played against the likes of Zico, uh, Maradona many times, Michel Platini. Um, you know, I played with Maldini and Franco Baresi national team. Walter Zenga, the goalkeeper. I played with uh, Baggio with Mancini, with Del Piero, with Gianfranco Zola. It's so like a dream team of yeah, players. Yeah, exactly. In fact, when they asked me to put together a team of the players I played with or against, I find it always difficult because I need to leave three or four legends out of the team. So a bit of rotation for yeah. me. <laughs> Is there any player today that reminds me of yourself as a striker? So maybe some of our younger readers won't have seen you play. Or who would you say is most like you in today's game? Well, I don't want to sort of um, say... I mean, I say it even though I don't want them to get offended. <laughs> oh, they wouldn't be offended. No, they don't like me. But I, I like watching the likes of um, Wayne Rooney and Ed, Ed, Eddie Cavani. Okay. Yeah, Naples, no, no. Because I like these strikers that are flexible in a way that you, you know, they, they can play as a centre forward or they can play slightly wider or off the main striker. And they're not just scoring goals for fun, they're also running the socks off for the sake of the team. Mm -hmm. So I like that kind of um, players and strikers that uh, put the interests of the team before theirs and they always end up you know, doing something important whether he's scoring a goal or making a, f a run or defending when he's needed. So I, I like players with that mentality. And much. finally then, you're obviously very busy with this but will we ever see you back in the dugout for, uh, even in the Premier League maybe? <laughs> Well, I, I now work for, apart from being a consultant for lots of football, I also um, work for Sky Italia and um, it's an exciting job, uh, less stressful than being a manager, but they, you know, they, I used to be paid to play the game, now I'm paid to watch games and, and talk about them. And I like it very much, uh, especially in Italy, it's very important to talk about the game in certain matters, uh, manners, because the fans... Uh, need to listen to the, right, to the right things being said on TV. Uh, but having said that, if the right opportunity comes up, I would definitely consider it because uh, I don't particularly like the person that being a manager makes me be. Sometimes I get too intense to um, stress that out. But, you know, if it was worth it, I would definitely <laughs> jump on the opportunity. Brilliant. Well, you might see uh, Gianluca back on the Premier League soon. Thanks, guys. That was Gianluca Vialli and his new game, Lords of Football. You can check it out soon, the game's in April. And who knows, one day, you could be a Lord of Football too.